Oh, oh, my bad, guys. Sorry, I've been drinking too much. And, uh, okay, sorry, sorry, you guys had to see that. All right, good morning, sir. Thanks for coming to work today. This guy just walks around in the corner. Anyway, welcome, welcome, guys. Sorry you had to see me uh, relieve myself there, but we are today's gonna be really exciting, something really fun. Uh, not that m much work, it's gonna be pretty. We priced this one pretty high too, so we're gonna be running the Volvo, and we got something pretty fun. We're just running the Volvo. Er, yeah, I'll probably actually have to bring it down. This I should probably get a smaller excavator, but right now this is all we got in terms of excavators. So I grabbed the thumb bucket on here because we're gonna need it. So we're gonna be taking those rocks over there. Hopefully this works. They're pretty small. I honestly probably don't need a thumb bucket. I might be able to use the Volvo. Then we're gonna bring the dump truck over and we're gonna fill it up with all these rocks and then we'll dump it. And it's going to be like a landscaping slash like retaining wall rock, if that makes sense. And another thing, just to show exactly how small this map is, if I open it up, you can see like that's what a typical map would look like. And that's how small it is. So super small map. And a lot of people were asking like, what map is this? It's, I honestly don't recommend downloading it. I'm kind of playing it a little risky. The game, my game has already crashed once since recording this video. Uh, so this mod and kind of a lot of things that come with it or this map mod is not good for your game So I, I'm not gonna recommend people get this uh, Mod be or this map because it will lie out your game, but I think I'll link it up here in a few episodes if people still want it um, Because I, I don't I don't really want to give out a, uh, a mod that I think you know wouldn't work that good so I would like to get more than one rock at a time for sure uh, but We'll kind of see how it goes. There we go. Maybe we can, wait. Wait, what the heck? Okay, um, in my head, this is, this is going a lot better uh, than it is right now. Here, let's see, so start up the engine. So I wanna load this up and dump it. And guys, FS, FS19 is not the most realistic thing in the world. Not everything's gonna go perfect. That's why you gotta kind of, uh, uh, if this doesn't work, I'm just gonna get dump trailer. <laughs> it just flew out the back. <laughs> what? That is not gonna work. Let me go ahead. We don't need that many. I guess, why didn't I just get the dump trailer in the first place? Let me go get the dump trailer. We'll pull it with our diesel. And then, uh, yeah. So, let's see how that works. And then maybe I'm thinking, because we're gonna be using dump trailer, I don't need the, uh, I don't need the excavator and why don't I get a grapple on my let, we'll see how this bucket works if not then I'll get a grapple uh okay all right change of plans change of plans I wanted to go big time you know I wanted to go heavy equipment I wanted you know that's always the fun bigger the better as they say and it seems like you guys always like that too so that's why I went with that but we'll go ahead and use the dump trailer we got our blue f-250 we got the don't we got the tow and level kit on so the back is raised up a bit more so that should also help. Then honestly, also a gooseneck trailer always helps too. But again, if you guys are new here, welcome to my landscaping company. Or not landscaping, excavating company. And this is where we're going to do many jobs like you see here. Uh, where we deliver rock. Last time we delivered gravel onto a road. It's going to be, you know, a lot of things like that. That are, in my opinion, super fun to do. And we can get pretty creative with it. Especially this map. So this map has a lot to offer and all that stuff and i need to keep saving the game because at any moment any moment it could crash so i don't recommend getting this uh, this map i'll keep testing it and it is for sure it's the mods that are in here i bet if you play this map without mods it would run a lot smoother and probably not crash as much i'm sure it's not perfect by any means but i guarantee you it's my mods because i had all my mods in here when i first got the map and the map wouldn't open up for the longest time and if you do get this map do not do or don't put in mods like uh like seasons or anything that messes with the with the game uh, operating system i guess so let's go ahead and put this big cat away go ahead and back her up it seems like i i lag i don't know about you guys but i always lag first person way more than third um so that's kind of why i stay a lot of people ask me what do you do first person i'm like well it, like when I press, okay, that time more good, but typically when I press C to go first person, it just destroys the game. All right. All right. Where's my skid loader? There she is. If this doesn't work, I'll for sure get a grapple bucket because I always kind of need it. The dozer would be good for pushing the rocks. I'm sure of it. Uh, but we need to lift them up and get them up into the dump trailer. So we will see how this goes. And like I said, it's going to be like a retaining wall, but for 
we're gonna use these rocks here it, it won't be like a big wall i think it's one or two high maybe just one for most of it so personally i really like the lock the rocks they look really cool really unique and uh hopefully it works out good oh wait. oops i have some gravel in here got some gravel in here from last job always make sure your bucket is clean go ahead shake it out shake it out there we go oh that worked really good all right so it just kind of plopped in there let's see if we can get another one come on get up in there boy there we go i kind of gotta oh oh there we go i gotta use the other rocks can help me but there we go i don't think i'm gonna get a grapple because this bucket is is pretty a lot of volume can fit in here don't really like the wood sides uh for this job but you got to make do with what you got the wood sides love it for uh leaves branches oh yeah that was that was actually pretty cool not gonna lie not gonna lie that was pretty cool pretty cool so it actually like sat down with it we probably just put a big old dent on our on our thing right there and i should probably come from the back end that might be you know what i will do that i mean okay in real life we've done this before probably not these size of rocks but uh the squad is here how can i open this on full trailer oh i think because i got ramps on it i mean still maybe oh, oh maybe that'll work i wonder i wonder if the skid loader is too wide real quick if it doesn't work i'm gonna just throw them in the back and you guys are probably thinking like spencer why do you care like it, it's a dumb trailer it's meant to do that um but i don't really want to damage or yeah that's Ooh, ooh. All right, that'll work. That'll work. A dump trailer is like meant to get scratched and in, but I don't want to put a hole through it and then obviously have that rust out and stuff when when I drive it like during winter time or just any time that it's raining. Oh yeah, get three up in there. Come on. I don't think probably two, two at once. Probably a little. Oh my goodness. All right. Don't don't drop them all, Spencer. There. Come on. Come on. All right, now we got one block in our path. What a noob. What a noob. And now we just dropped another one. All righty then. you love to see it. I wish I could fold the bucket back a little more so it's a little better, but... Or so I could kind of press them up against the back. But it, you, you kind of got to make do with what you got, like I said earlier. All righty here. Running over. We'll push that. Come on. There we go. Dump them out. Let's see if I can push these two to the back. I would really like to do that. We're just about the perfect width for this guy. There we go. I was going to say, if those stayed in my bucket, I would be so mad. Because, like, that's the only time you... It seems like whenever you're doing this stuff, the bucket... There are the rocks go in your bucket when you want them out. And they don't go in your bucket when, they, when you want them in. I feel like a lot of people can uh, agree with me on that one. All right. Nice and easy. I wish I was had controller for a lot of this, and I probably should play with a controller rather than keypad, but I'm just so used to keypad. All right, there we go. Dump it. We're getting a lot of rocks for this, guys. A lot of rocks. Almost, I think we're taking about all this. This is, We're going to go way over our tow limit for sure. I should, probably should have looked at the truck beforehand. To see what oh we got three what normal ride height was here let's look what we have four and okay it's still pretty level honestly still the back is way up so we'll go ahead and run a time lapse here of us loading this in hopefully you guys enjoy i think it's gonna be a lot of fun to watch it uh please hit the like button for our uh for our ex excavating company that is helps us out a lot and tells me that you guys want to see more videos just like this so any feedback idea video ideas love to hear it from you guys too that's uh that's always the best all right guys so we got almost all the rocks loaded up i thought i was going to take them all but now it's really starting to pile up and we need to still fit the skid loader in here hopefully the skid loader will help counter kind of almost counterbalance this weight because we're pretty front heavy uh would it be better if i got my all right oh okay all right i think we're gonna be able to clear it look at okay right there right there just stay right there this will actually help hold the rocks in place all right there we go and then let's go ahead and fold the ramps is she's not even really squatting that much what the heck what is in this thing okay actually you know what it is like here let's let's detach for a second and then 
Oh yeah, she's squatting. She's squatting. There we go. There we go, boys. All right, so we're driving to the drive. We're driving to the to the job site, and we're gonna be heading out there. Just look at our setup. This is so cool. I'm happy that we took the dump trailer because we weren't taking that many. Okay, we're taking quite a bit of rocks, but uh, and the homeowner might want more in the end of it. I I tried to measure it out and see how many we need, but you know who knows? Maybe we brought too much. Maybe we brought too little. You never know until you get there. Start putting her together. All right. Uh, 13,000 and it's it's kilograms it's not pounds that totally would make sense because like this isn't an American map I don't know what I was thinking but somebody reminded me like Spencer that's probably not pounds that's kilograms so and I'm not very familiar with kilograms but I mean I can just do a simple Google search Google search but I guess we're 13,000 kilograms I wonder how many pounds that is I think kilograms are more than pound anyway I'll look it up later so all right, where is this? They kind of, they get, I got an address here, but some of these houses don't pop up on the old GPS. They're just so old or something. Wait. Okay, that actually looks like it. Is this the house? Okay, it has construction. What's up, my man? Is this your house I need to come to? You need some rock? All right, this is it. This is the, uh, it looks like they just got, like, some back, some backfilling or looks like they got some dirt looks like their yard just got filled or something this is not a new home but i think they got uh some topsoil laid in here and they must have either had uh like drainage problems or something but it looks like they're you know they could have had you know leaky foundation and then they needed to kind of redo things and then they just filled in the rest of the yard because it slopes but they still got this pretty s bad slope and they wanted us to bring these rocks in to help from the dirt you know sliding out and help it maybe build up and build up and then they were going to fill this and level it out to make it uh even i'm not really sure but i know they want those rocks on those bush lines i don't think they really care about the bushes um at least where the rocks are going to be so let me go talk to my man jeremy here and we'll make sure everything is squared away and that we all understand kind of what's going on i probably here where, where should i work all right we weren't going to make that turn let me go ahead and talk to him. I think I'm going to unload here and we'll run it into the backyard. Really easy access. I was a little worried about, you know, obviously you you want the easiest, like, access into the backyard. And this is super easy. So that worked out super good. Let's go ahead and talk to the big cat. We'll see what's up. Make sure everything's underway. All right. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll make sure I get that done. So he, kind of what I thought, just inside this bush line here, we just want to lay these rocks all the way up to where it kind of... Or no, all the way down. Okay. Or I don't know. I would assume that he wants it all the way back there. Um, we'll see if I have enough rocks. I don't think I will. Um, but, but we'll just have to see. And this might be a bigger job than I kind of thought or anticipated. So this should be the easy part, you would think. Me getting the rocks from the dump trailer into here. I don't want to just dump them on the ground. In my opinion, it might be a heck of a lot easier if we just do it this way. Where I come in and then just lift up whatever I get, I get. Oh my goodness. Oh, all I get is one. All right. Maybe it would be easier to dump them. We'll kind of see. Let me go ahead and get our first one underway. There we go. And uh, yeah, so good thing we got tracks for this. We don't, I mean, the yard is obviously already tore up, but we kind of want to keep that the way it is. All right. So the rocks aren't huge. They aren't like really big, but it, I mean, they're, they're pretty good size, I would say. All right, so our plan is kind of, if you guys can envision this with me, is just keep putting these rocks next to each other. He said maybe, oh my goodness. No, come back. All right, there we go. He said maybe at some times he'll want them too high, but we'll kind of see what the plan is. This is just kind of to help. It's, he's, he's, he, he was debating even doing this, uh, so he thinks just one one line of rocks will be good so we're gonna keep running and gunning this i actually think we'll dump the rocks onto the ground like right now because that might be the easiest the only problem is these rant i don't understand how am i there we go all right we're gonna unload but one thing i don't understand and i mean maybe the ramps i don't know how to take the ramps off but how do i unload these with the ramps you know what I'm saying? Because I can't get the door to open. And then the ramps are there. Maybe there's a better way. Lift loader arm. 
What's this button? Extend front loader arm. So, I'm gonna have to figure that out there. Oh wait, there they go. They're moving. Wait, no. No, I didn't mean to press C. Unload. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so we're working hard here. We already got, you know, four down. And then I figured out how to unload those. It was kind of sketch, but I just had to keep, like, reopening the door. Definitely going to get one that doesn't have ramps uh, for this. But I also love the ramps because I really like loading the skid loader in there, too. But we'll just have to get the best of both worlds, maybe. All right, pretty difficult for, to uh, keep those from like rolling off the hill. And it's pretty annoying too, but I mean, everything else is going fairly smoothly. But I think once the, the ground starts to level out, then uh, then it won't be so bad. But just for now, it's, it's honestly kind of tough. Come on, get up in there, boy. Oh, one time I had four. If you guys saw in the time lapse, I had four rocks in here. It's pretty cool. But yeah, the slope just makes the rocks want to roll on out of here. It's pretty steep slope. It's probably really good that he's doing this. If you can get these to kind of sit down in the dirt and just keep it like as like retaining dirt always um, As long as they don't you know obviously roll down maybe I just there we go And then just push them into place There that's the way to do it. It was not steep right there too. There we go. There we go. We're making progress. We're learning There we are and we'll knock out these but once again guys if you are enjoying these episodes let me know by hitting the like button or in the comment section one two of the best ways to do it all right we'll just get oh see that's what i hit they seem to fall out a lot of times um oh there we go all right those are pretty solid rocks right there then yeah we're just going to continue down this whole entire thing i'll cut out some of the busy work as it gets busy i might need to go get another load of rocks too um, but we'll kind of keep her moving and stuff. So hopefully you guys are enjoying today's episode. Of course, I really like how I think this is going to turn out really, really good. If he has us go too high, that's going to be like a solid wall. All right. No, don't roll. Don't roll. All right. Good. So it's been a few hours of work and we've been going right along and I showed the customer, uh, I have one rock on top of the base layer. And I showed him kind of what that looked like, and he's still trying. Oh, 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 oh! All right, we lost that one. That's right. I uh, he's still trying to figure out. He said he'll get back to me in a little bit if he wants to or not. I kind of showed him the price of the extra material and obviously extra labor when you when we got to throw. Okay, and I've been having some rocks fall down the uh, the end there, which is always nice. I'll have to go get those at the end. But it's coming together very, very nicely. I like it. It looks really, really clean in my opinion. Here we go, that was... Oh my god, I just picked up some dirt on accident. Here we go, spread it back down. Hopefully nobody saw that. Alright, now it's not smooth. Alright, it'll smooth out. I'll run over it. Um, we'll keep driving around here. Get, uh, well, I got one or two more. And then I'll kind of talk to him, see if he wants any more there. Or if he just wants it for like a certain spot and stuff. So, things are going good. I will uh, catch back up with you guys in a little bit, but yeah, it looks really, really nice, really clean. I think it'll help with this like soil and like grass and everything, so yeah. But there's the two. That's kind of what it would look like right there. It's kind of like wobbling. It's, it, I don't know. I don't know. I was gonna have him, he'll come out and look at it and make a decision, but I will see you guys kind of when it's all wrapped up and done. So there she is. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So let me, uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. We're running around the rocks now, but I like it. I like it. it. It looks great. It looks great. So let me get, let me know what you guys think of the wall. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. That was another job in the books. It got really long and tedious when I was actually doing the work. So that's kind of why I cut most of it, but it turned out pretty good, I thought. And the customer's happy. He didn't want to do two levels. I showed him the prices. He's like, heck no, we're just doing one. So that's honestly kind of happy with that. Ready to get out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.